installing the motor chain. Gather the materials to install the motor chain. Chain breaker suitable for a 415 chain and accommodating chain breaker wrench if needed. Spark plug wrench, screwdriver to turn spark plug wrench. Number 415 motor chain. needle nose pliers thread lock locate the master link that connects the chain together using the pliers grasp the top of the pin and the tip of the c-clip squeeze and pop the c-clip off It is helpful to lay the pliers flat against the link to grasp and push the C-clip out. Remove the clip and attach the plate and link. In order to move the chain through the drive sprocket, the spark plug wrench is needed. Insert the screwdriver through the spark plug wrench holes to act as a lever. Hold the chain end in line with the bottom sprocket teeth. Use a spark plug wrench to turn the sprocket clockwise so that the chain feeds through. Feed the chain until it ends a few inches past the rim of the rear wheel. Bring the opposite end of the chain around the rear sprocket. Bring the chain ends together and determine where to cut the right chain end. Note that the chain can only connect from narrow link to narrow link. Therefore, the cut has to be at a narrow link. Before cutting the chain, make sure most but not all of the chain slack is taken out using the spark plug wrench. Note that when this pin is removed, the excess chain will be removed, exposing the narrow link. Position the chain breaker at the pin where the chain needs to be cut. Be sure that you do not cut the chain too short. If there is some slack, it can be adjusted with the chain tensioner and changing the motor angle position. Use the wrench to push the pin out. Remove the unwanted chain length. Reconnect the chain ends with the master link. First insert the link into both chain ends.
insert the master link plate cover. Present the C-clip on top of the plate cover. Since the master link is located on the top part of the chain, the direction of the C-clip must open towards the rear wheel. It will pop off if connected in the opposite direction when in motion. Squeeze the C-clip into position using the needle nose pliers. The C-clip opens to the rear wheel when the master link is connected to the top part of the chain. Lift the bottom portion of the chain up. The picture shows a reasonable amount of slack available for the connected chain. If the chain has too much slack than what is shown, the chain can be slightly tightened by angling the motor mounting more downward. Angle downward to remove slack. Level motor to increase the chain slack. Tighten the front and rear mounts after adjusting for the correct amount of chain slack. Tighten front motor mount strap. Tighten the rear motor mount strap. Tighten both front and rear mounts evenly. Screw back on dry sprocket cover. Use thread lock. Make sure the camshaft arm is positioned as shown when reattaching the cover. Set up the chain tensioner. Use two wrenches, a large flathead screwdriver, and thread lock. With screwdriver and wrench, position and tighten wheel about three quarters of an inch from the slot bottom. Use thread lock. Low wheel position will allow for tension adjustment later. Set the wrench around the nut. Tighten nut with a large flathead screwdriver. Mount and attach the chain tensioner. Set tensioner plate over the frame and run bolts through the holes. Add thread lock to the bolts. Add first flat and then lock washers to each bolt. And tighten the nuts on bolts. Slide chain tensioner as far as possible to the right so that all the slack from the chain is removed. Angle tensioner so that the rear sprocket teeth are centered in the middle of the chain.
Once the chain slack is removed and the sprocket teeth are centered to the chain, use two wrenches to evenly tighten the tensioner to the frame. Evenly tighten the nuts by about 75%. Do not tighten fully because adjustments will be needed later on. Inspect the top and bottom chain gaps between tire. If the chain rubs against the tire, adjust by doing the following. Loosen the front and rear mounts and slightly push the motor out so that the chain moves away from the tire. Loosen the rear wheel and angle it slightly away from the chain. Hold firmly and retighten. Loosen chain tensioner and angle it so that the bottom chain moves away from the tire. Make sure, however, that the sprocket teeth align within the chain. Next video, part 8. Installing the carburetor and throttle.